All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I'm doing a uh, solar panel and solar system installation on my cargo trailer. This is a uh, enclosed cargo trailer that I kind of use for my hauling my dirt bikes, ATVs, things like that. So I'm just doing a, a, a solar panel installation because I have a 12 volt battery and lights and things that are pulling electrical power from that battery that I want to keep topped up, kind of use this as a trickle charger to charge that battery. Okay, now when I'm at home, I actually have a onboard battery charger that plugs into the wall. So see this battery charger here? That plugs in over to here. This goes to the outside and then an extension cord goes into the wall into that. So that way when I'm at home, it, that's plugged in and it's charging this 12 volt battery. It's just a deep cycle marine, marine or RV battery. Group size 27. I've got a fuse block there to where, where, where I run my electrical components, lights, switches, things like that. And then I have a marine on off switch here to shut power off. If you want more details on that, guys, check. I'll leave a link down below on the details of the wiring of this trailer. Now, this video is going to be specifically on the solar panel. All right, the solar panel kit I got comes with a panel. This is a 100-watt solar panel. It's flexible. I want it to be flexible because the roof on this, this uh, enclosed trailer is not flat, and I wanted to be able to keep low profile. And then it also comes with the wire that's going to come from the, the panel down to the charge controller. And this is our charge controller. Now, this isn't, the, this isn't like a top-of-the-line charge controller. It's just a kind of a cheap Chinese charge controller. But it comes down from the panel into these two slots, positive, negative, positive, negative to the uh, battery. And then there's an accessory uh, spot here. Also, you have some USB charging here. So this is a pretty simple setup. It comes with the wires already. I like that it comes with the wires, the charge controller, the panel. So really, it's just kind of all, all everything I need is coming with this with this kit and it's pretty affordable I just found this on Amazon and I'll leave a link down below if you're looking for something like this all right before we take this up to the roof I want to just discuss how I'm gonna mount this to the roof I don't want to drill into the roof so I'm gonna to have to use just adhesive products to be able to get that up there so what I have here is that the panel is actually it's actually I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put this kind of a, it's called a plastic cardboard or a corrugated plastic sheeting it's got basically looks like plastic cardboard and it has these channels all the way through it's gonna allow air and water to drain through and the air is gonna help cool it because this the, the roof on this this uh, trailer gets really really hot it's metal so I need to have some kind of a I want to have a barrier between the two just to make sure that this isn't like you know gonna get damaged from that excessive heat and then I'm gonna I, and then I'm gonna use this I, have, I found this stuff this is actually a method used by Brian from a YouTube channel called RV with Tito and I'm using his kind of method I, f I got this method from him so I didn't really come up with this but I, I watched his video and I really like the way that uh, his turned out and the idea of it being a, not very intrusive on the roof and it's easy to remove this if needed so I'm gonna use this this is kind of like a aluminum it's a thin aluminum piece of metal it's very flexible, it's easy to cut, but I'm gonna use this as kind of like a panel. I'm gonna screw it onto, I'm gonna have some carriage bolts, I'm gonna screw it into these holes here, and then I'm gonna have a piece of Eterna bond over the top here. And then on every every rivet hole along the side, they're gonna have another piece of this with a screw and a washer coming up, holding this down so that way that this is this solar panel is pinched between the two, between the metal and this corrugated cardboard. And then I'll have a washer, a bolt, and a nut on there. And then this will be, I'll use a, a turn -a on each of these to hold it down. I have some double-sided tape I'm going to stick underneath the, the entire thing. So that way it's going to be easy to remove. It's going to it's going to keep it up there. It, it's going to be low profile, so I don't have to worry about it flying away or anything. But it's I think this is going to be probably the easiest, one of the easiest solutions as far as not screwing into the roof and not damaging the roof at all. All right, so I have all these corners screwed down. So you can see here, this is just the, the piece of aluminum that I have screwed to the uh, piece of corrugated cardboard. You can see the carriage bolt here from the bottom. And then I have the washer and nut on top, so it's pinching that solar panel. And I have this all the way around the solar panel, so that way it'll uh, be a place for the Eternabond. The Eternabond tape will go over that uh, like that. So I have it, there's four on each side, and then the front is the front as well and then here's the double-sided tape I have so I'm gonna turn this over I'm gonna put the double-sided tape on this 
and then I'm going to be able to set that on the roof and it'll provide for an extra extra ad adhesive to it. The front part has this strip, a full strip across because that's going to be front that's where the uh, wind resistance is going to be. So it'll help keep the the keep it down flat on the the roof. All right, so here's the front of the trailer and if you see here I have my ladder here on the side and I'm going to be able to climb up there, but I want to I want to drape the uh, I want to have the the cable come down this side because my battery is on this side this right side of the trailer and so I want to have that battery kind of come down on the side so if I get up here this rag I want to really wipe this off clean it really good make sure that this uh, adhesive products that I'm using can stick to it really well I'm going to get some after I wipe it down with some soap and water and dry it really good I want to get some uh, rubbing alcohol really get that uh, clean make sure that it's a nice clean surface to adhere to all right, this is the back side. So this is the uh, corrugated cardboard here, the pillar panel on the other side here. I have this double-sided tape I've put in various locations. So I'm just going to take off the protective strip. Probably when I get up on top of the roof, I'll be able to position this, get it where I want it to, and then uh, lay it down. And then I'm going to put the Eternabond over these tabs here. All right. Okay, so I have it down. The double-sided tape has uh, been pushed down on it. Now I just need to get this Eternabond tape here. I'm going to cut one big strip, put it across the front here, because that's really where the, a lot of the wind resistance is going to come up when I'm driving. Okay, I just really want to press this down here. Okay, for the rest of the corners, I'm just going to put the tape covering this entire piece. I'll do some across the back on each of these pieces here and that should hold it down pretty well. The Eternabond down looks like it's holding really well. It uh, went down really well. It's very, this stuff's very sticky, so this is the stuff you want to do for this. Now what I'm going to do is have, now it's just to run the wires. The wiring really isn't that hard. It's really just getting this panel to stick to the roof. All right, we're back here on the roof. I just have to cut the zip tie off these leads here so this can lay flat. All right, we have our, this is kind of our extension cord here. So we have our positive connecting into our red one until that snaps. These are waterproof connectors. Our negative, we're doing negative, okay. Get these cables kind of laid down flat here like that. We'll just put some of this Eternabond tape on it. And this, luckily this comes with probably, uh, probably about a 16, 15 foot long cord. Now here's what I'm doing. Here's where I'm entering the trailer with the wire. I almost fell off the ladder. All right. Right here on the edge, above the drip rail of the door, I went in here. I, I went in here. I was going to go below. There's just not enough room right here. And you're going to see a big loop around here. I don't want to see that. So if I can just go right through here. All right. Push that all the way in. Then I can just get some silicone sealant, and then right around, right around there, there's not there's not much gap around the cable. I can just go put some silicone right around there, and that'll seal that right up just fine. All right, here we are on the inside. This is where the cable comes through on the inside, which is a pretty good spot. So I'm just pulling the rest of the slack through here. Okay, just pulling all that through. Now what I'll do is I'll just run the cable up to the ceiling, to this back corner down the corner of the wall and I'm going to mount my charge controller right there next to my battery charger. All right, back up here on the roof, here's how I have the these cables kind of secured down. So I just use a piece of this Eternabond tape just to secure these tables down, put one over these these connectors here and then you can see how the cable com comes off the roof down inside of the trailer. I'll, I'll put some caulking in that, some silicone caulking in that, and just uh, as soon as I get some, I don't think I have any on hand. But all right, I need to route this wire over to the this this wire from the from the solar panel 
goes into the charge controller, and then there's a cable that goes from the charge controller to the battery. So those, those are really the only two cables that we have, so it's pretty simple. I'm getting these little cable clamps here. Just going to help organize the cable a little bit. Just kind of tape it up there with the rest of the cables. Comes in from the roof there, actually the side. Across here all the way to the front corner, and then drops down with the rest of these wires. These are other wires for my to my battery to the lights, and then it's going to come down into there. Now, now I just need to mount the charge controller. All right, actually, before I mount the charge controller to the wall, I'm actually going to just uh, hook up the wires to it first. That way, it's I don't have to crawl underneath there it'll be a little easier with it disconnected so I just need to figure out where I need to cut this wire this is the one coming from the panel mount the charge controller here so I just need a little extra slack so I'll go about right there so I haven't cut the wire yet so be careful you don't want to touch the arc those two uh, now for this this is actually hard to kind of get the it takes a really small screwdriver all right how this charge controller works is we have the positive and negative for the battery here in the middle that's already ho I already hooked that up and then positive and negative from the panel and then a positive and negative to an accessory it has a light bulb there so looks like I could probably I could wire in a, a light or something directly into this which I'm not going to I'm gonna just I'll wire everything into the battery but looks like it but it does have some USB charging options here that's good. Okay, negative from the panel. Where's the? I don't think it came with mounting screws. I'm just gonna use a couple of drywall screws. Screws here. Two screws. I'll do all four. There's four holes here. We'll just. The last part I have to do is I have to hook up the battery cable to the battery the positive and negative on the battery so that's kind of uh, our last step here I want to give myself enough slack here I should have to I think what I'm gonna do is because I have this e-track right here I'm gonna route the cable kind of to the wall and then down so that way I have that access so I'm gonna give myself more cable more room strip back crimp on these spade connectors. These cr spade connectors will stretch out a little bit so that I can fit it onto my battery terminal. Now what I'll do is I'll connect the red to the positive, black to the negative, and then I'll be able to just kind of get this cable out of the way. Just kind of use a couple of these. Here's the cable connectors. They're called cable clamps. You put a screw through them and they can just manage the cable so you can get your cables up out of the way. I'm going to use those to kind of get the cables tucked out of the way. Turn the charge controller on, start char trickle charging the battery. Now the battery is also hooked into a a 110 battery charger, so it's not going to do anything when I'm sitting here at home. I might I might just turn it off. I might just not even wonder if that's an option. I can just keep the charge controller off. That way it's not even on. It's not even active until I leave. Until I disconnect power. All right, I got my positive lead connected, my negative lead connected, and then I cables out of the way. My charge control is on and we're showing a 13.6 volt. Um, I need to read about what exactly how this charge controller works because I don't want this to overcharge the battery. Obviously at 13.6 volts I don't it, that's full. Uh, this plug-in battery charger is has been minding the battery so the battery is going to be full. I really just need this to this to turn on when I'm um, when I'm not not at home when I'm on the road when I'm out using the trailer. So, anyways, guys, uh, let me get things kind of wrapped up here. But hopefully, that gives you an idea on how to do this, these solar kits. Some quick information: I use this uh, self-leveling lap sealant. This is what you'd use on an RV roof. But I use this lap sealant kind of around the this Eternabond tape. Uh, these different areas here, and what that's going to do is it's going to prevent that tape from getting moisture up underneath it and then around the hole I cut a hole in this tape to be able to get it over the stud and it's um, 
I wanted to seal that off. So you see how I wanted to seal this area off here so that way water, air, moisture doesn't get in underneath this and start lifting up the tape. Specifically on the front here, this is where the airflow is gonna come across the top. So I wanna have this uh, lap sealant across the front of this, this Eternabond sealant and on the back of it. I think this should be a pretty secure solution. Should be pretty secure here. So the Eternabond tape and the lap sealant and then some double-sided tape underneath it. Should hold it pretty well. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully that gives you some information, at least gives you some uh, an idea of what's involved in one of these solar panel kits. It really wasn't that hard. I was always kind of intimidated by this. I didn't know what to get, what to buy, what charge controller panels, cable. I didn't know what a lot of this. Well, after watching a couple of videos like this, this it, it kind of gave me the confidence to do this. So hopefully it does the same for you that it inspires you to kind of do this yourself and it really isn't that hard. I think the hardest part is just getting the panel on the roof and mounting it there and you know, getting it on the, the, the roof secure because there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different materials that you can use to accomplish that. And then really just running the cables to the charge controller then to the battery, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward stuff. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna work. I'll keep you guys updated with the video as I use this, as it, you know, if there's any issues or problems. And the cool thing with this is it is an expandable, it's an expandable system. So I could add a panel. I don't foresee needing that. I just have the one battery and I don't use it a whole lot. So it will be nice to have that auxiliary charging when I'm out, when I'm out using the trailer from the sun. So anyways, anyways, guys, we'll hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave comments down below if you have any, and see a link down in the description for the solar panel kit. I'm impressed with it so far with how it's worked, the ease of installation. Seems like it has a decent quality for the price, pretty good value. So anyway, see that down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.